Many thanks to DZ Podcast, Pandemonium, Fatal Attraction Vanilla Servers, Atlas, Mutated Jurassic Outbreak Servers, One Original DZ Servers, Clash Vanilla Servers, Sheriff Line, Sour Kraut, Sergeant Pepper's DZ Invasion Server, PGZ Servers, Wasty, Chinese Cream Vanilla Servers, and Tequila for making this video possible. DZ Update 1.24 has just been released to Experimental for us to check out, and there is a lot more going on in this update than we first anticipated, so I've given it a quick look to compile all the juicy new stuff for you guys and find out what's the crack this update. First of all, obviously, we're going to check out the new weapon, the Vic here rifle has been added this patch, which is pronounced like this. Yeah. For this reason, I don't see anybody pronouncing it like that. It would probably be known as the Vic or the Vicir or the SR3. This weapon is essentially a miniature version of the VSS and the AS file we've already got in the game, allowing the same attachments and magazines, but doesn't have a fixed suppressor. So this weapon is not suppressed as standard, allowing for an improvised suppressor instead. This does not accept the AK suppressor. This weapon sound is incredibly meaty, so it'd be interesting to know if this weapon is as scary as it sounds. A new item that may make this weapon scary is a new 30 round 9x39 mag. This has 30 rounds of the armor piercing or the regular 9x39s, which attaches to this new weapon plus the VSS and the AS valve. So these two weapons now have a 30 round mag. In the previous patch it was 20 rounds maximum as a mag, which gives some much needed love to these weapons I believe. I'll do a full breakdown on how this changes the meta for these weapons in a dedicated video for the SR3 or the Vicar. Three new helmets have been added called the Camouflage Helmets, which are just variants, so there's only one new helmet, but this should probably be called the Ballistic Helmet, as it carries the same name in the game files, so it's just a reskin of the Ballistic Helmet, it appears. However, in 1.23, it's two hits to KO with an MK2. In 1.24, it's the same, but it's seven shots to kill in 1.23, whereas it's six shots to kill in 1.24. There could be a difference between these helmets. This could be for a few reasons, but at this time, I can't say for sure if the stats are exactly the same but the description is so i'm guessing the stats are the same but some sort of damage has been changed somewhere coming in two versions of woodland and a desert pattern 2 so this looks like a reskin of the ballistic helmet but we don't know for sure what the stats are yet one thing that certainly isn't the same are the bullet hitboxes on the trees. As you can see here, they now have cone shapes on them, which were stealth removed in the previous patch, by the way. These trees did not have hitboxes on them, apart from the wooden center in 1.23. The sneaky devs removed them without me noticing. Not that that matters now, because in 1.24, these cone shapes are here instead, which means they actually might increase server load because these new hitboxes have been added, but they've simplified greatly the hitboxes on the top of the trees. So in the last patch we had no resistance on these particular trees because they didn't have any hitboxes but now they do have some resistance and therefore you would do less damage when you shoot through them but this isn't the worst of it because if you have a high deflection value weapon it can bounce off. I was testing very briefly and I got a bullet to bounce off of one of these tree hitboxes so this is going to be rare but it is going to be possible. Blunder weapon damage has been increased against infected and animals, but I'm not sure about players. It looks like the same as last patch from initial testing. So against players, the amount of shock and health damage you do with blunt weapons looks to be the same. In the article that came with this patch though, a melee damage bonus is taken from the shock damage against infected and animals, which means that the amount of shock damage you have on a blunt weapon is converted, or what appears to be converted to health damage to do extra damage to infected and animals, but not extra damage to players. This could be the case, we may have to rethink melee weapon damage. Weapon raising is a lot better in most cases now. My guess is that they've reduced the collision hitboxes on weapons to make them raise later or closer to different objects, and they applied some code to stop the weapon sway from triggering a raising of a weapon, causing these annoying spasms in the last patch, as you can see here. These do not happen in 1.24 anymore, but at a cost that I will cover in yet another future video, where I'll investigate the changes they made to weapon lengths as well. In that video, I'll go over the changes to the Vega rate of fire and reduced recoil. So the rate of fire has been reduced, but the recoil has also been reduced. A lot of full auto weapons now have more recoil though, which is something that a lot of players have been asking for to balance out the assault rifle meta to bring back the days of the Mosin. From initial tests, it looks like many weapons have increased recoil now. I'm not sure exactly which ones. I wish I could tell you which ones, but all this stuff takes a long time to test. So thank you for your patience while I do all the testing. 
A nice surprise this update, Lukov Airfield on Livonia got an update which no does not have the numbers 35 on there, it's 22 and 04 in case you're wondering. This is essentially just a reskin of the much improved textures that we had on Northwest Airfield so this is going to look much better from a texture point of view. Apart from that there's no other changes to this airfield. Bullet impact sounds are basically unnoticeable by infected now. You won't alert an infected with your bullet impact sounds, at least I couldn't. You could probably shoot between the feet of an infected and they wouldn't notice. However, the biggest change is how they don't respond to any suppressed weapons anymore, making suppressed weapons incredible for clearing out towns, but also making them almost essential for PvP in towns too. If you don't have a suppressor and your enemy does have a suppressor and you get into a firefight, all of the infected aggro is going to come in your direction. This is going to make suppressors even more powerful. However, if you throw an item, they will still notice the impact sound. The SKS has a new sound set or set of sounds applying to external, interior and suppressed sounds too. It also sounds as if there's new reload sounds on some of the weapons too. I noticed some weapons have different reload sounds, but I can't be sure. Let me know if this reload sound is a new one. What certainly is new though is the ability to continuously bandage our bleeds, making it night and day faster to remove bleeds from our characters now, especially if you have bandages. But this also works with rags and the white sewing kit. You can heal bleeds continuously with all types of bleed repair methods. So you can heal six bleeds in a row with one stack of rags. Just make sure you disinfect them. In the previous patch, the only way to strip a player was to take their gear onto your character immediately or to drag and drop it off their character into the vicinity window. Now in 1.24, you can control click to drop their items from their character that's on the floor to the floor directly just by holding control and clicking a very nice quality of life change. As for some of the other minor changes this update, you can no longer push a vehicle that is in gear. It has to be in neutral in order for you to push it from the rear or the front and it takes several seconds to recognise if it's in neutral before you can start pushing it. You cannot push a vehicle in reverse backwards and you cannot push a vehicle in first gear forwards. It must be in neutral. Muzzle particle effects on weapons has changed. This is 1.23 and this is 1.24. I don't notice any differences, but apparently there's a performance difference when you're going into intense firefights. Collision of smaller objects in forests have been removed, but only for this dead tree it seems. All other dead trees have their hitboxes and will react to your player and vehicles, so do be careful when traveling through forest still. This could change this patch though. We've got a few hot fixes coming for 1.24, I'm sure. You no longer need to have items on the floor in order to double click items into your inventory. You can have them in your hands and then double click to your inventory that way. Winners of the book design competition have their designs in the game now, which can be seen from the bookshelf cabinet model, this particular one. But there may be other bookshelf models lurking around or these books around in different locations. Note that you cannot loot these or read them, but they are designed by players. I thought that was pretty cool. Guns can now spawn chambered or unchambered with a mag or without a mag, with or without rounds and sometimes with a barrel assembly slid back. Basically there is no way to know if a player dropped this pistol or it spawned in like this. Animations have been added for cleaning your hands with gasoline canisters which also allows you to clean your hands with pure gasoline. I'm not sure if that's going to change or not. You can do the same with a cooking pot so the cooking pot will allow you to clean your hands now comes with sound effects and an animation. Gathering sticks with your hands now makes a noise. Crafting improvised clothing does too. Base building kits make a sound when they're crafted and so does the bone knife now. And wringing out your clothes makes a very moist sound effect. The padded gloves can now be repaired with the leather sewing kit. The stagger animation skip glitch has been fixed in this patch. Pulling a body from a vehicle is now a one tap option. You no longer have to hold down the key to pull them out of the vehicle. The cooking tripod can now be repaired with a blowtorch. They rebalance the weight of many tools and weapons including the two shovels. So the larger shovel is now 3 kilograms. I believe they reduce the weight of a lot of these weapons. And finally the main menu now plays the video that was added to the game files a few patches ago but you cannot interact with this video or pause it so it's going to constantly be playing. There are controls in the game files so whether or not they're working on this who knows maybe in the future we're going to be able to interact with this video. Also in a future update it sounds like we're going to be getting AI changes this year which could possibly be the major undertaking that they're talking about this year but it's nice to get an update regardless on the progress of the AI changes. 
These are the details in 1.24 that I believe everybody should know as a first look into this update, which obviously I go into a lot more detail on in future videos like I usually do. For now, it's important to remember that this is a stability update for Daisy, focusing more on bug fixes and quality of life changes rather than new mechanics and new items. So letting your feedback be known is going to help a lot with this update. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.